Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. It's been over a year since I made this Raspberry Pi Pico in Arduino IDE video, but I just got this question a couple of weeks ago from Kayam. He wants to use different GPIO pins other than the default pins in Arduino IDE. I tossed him a couple of ideas, but yeah, it was Python, and this other one's a C++ example. Yeah, so that wasn't quite enough help. I decided I'd have to roll up my sleeves and go ahead and try this for myself. So I want to use this sketch that I used with the Arduino Nano RP20 Connect that lights up this little cheap OLED module. It's I to C. And you can see this gives us a good visual cue that what we're doing is working. Of course, you can look for the links in the description down below to get the code here. We're going to use the example sketch that I made called SSD1315 example. And I found this pinout diagram that tells me all the different potential pins for I to C. And you can see the default is pins 4 and 5. And I found this article here that says if you go C, Users, User, App, Data, Local, Arduino 15 packages, you can find this file where you can change the I to C pin assignments. Let's drill down in here. There we go. C, Username, App, Data, Local, Arduino 15 packages, Arduino hardware, Embed, RP2040 version variants. And we wind up at the Raspberry Pi Pico folder. And here you can see this pins Arduino H file right there. That's where we've assigned those pins to GPIO 6 and 7. And we look at the pinout and you can see those are physical pins 9 and 10 for GPIO 6 and 7. And of course the sketch is working. It's lighting up the OLED display with my example. Now I went to another PC and I drilled down into that same path and it dead ends at hardware. I don't have the embed RP2040 folder and when I compile the sketch, guess what? It doesn't work. Now I'm sort of at a loss. I gotta drill deeper. So then I found this article here, open the Arduino 15 folder, and it says for a standard IDE installation, that's where you download it and run the installer, you will find this Arduino 15 folder at C, Users, Username, App Data Local, Arduino 15. That's the standard installation. But then if you install it from Windows Store, it puts it in an entirely different place. It puts it in a folder named Arduino Data in your Documents folder. Yeah, so you see here at the top of this Arduino IDE in the title bar, it says Windows Store 1857 in parentheses. So that was installed using Windows Store on the other PC. And let's drill down to that path, OneDrive Personal, Documents, Arduino Data, Packages, Arduino, Hardware, Embed, RP2040. This is a newer version, 3.2.0. Variants, Raspberry Pi Pico. So this is where that pins Arduino H file winds up if you install the Windows Store version of Arduino IDE. Here on my original computer where compiling the sketch worked, you can see in the title bar of the window, it just says Arduino 1.8.13 and there's no Windows Store parentheses. All right, so we're just gonna double check. We go in to see users, username, app data, local, Arduino 15 packages, Arduino, hardware, embed, RP2040 version, variants, Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's just double check our pin assignment. Yeah, that's uh, pins 6 and 7, GPIO pins 6 and 7. Those are the physical pins 9 and 10. We confirm our sketch is running. Now on the other PC that wasn't working because it had the store version, I uninstalled all of the Arduino IDE instances from it and installed fresh. 
And here you see that path is established like we expected. And the latest version of the Embed RP2040 3.2.0 is here. Pins H, the default's 4.5. I want to make that work. But I decide that I have to change this OLE reset pin to 6 because it was set to 4, which conflicts with GPIO 4 here. And I set it to 6, which isn't being used. And we compile the sketch. And now it's working, compiling on the other computer. Let's check out some of the other pins I tried out. Let's check out GPIO 10 and 11. There we go, and that's that pins Arduino H folder. Change those two. And those are the physical pins, 14, 15. I'm going to go back and change that O lead reset to 4. Of course, when you change that include file, you have to open and close the Arduino IDE. But you see it's working here on those GPIO pins too. So, in answer to your question, I would imagine you could use any of the pins that are labeled as potential use for I to C, as long as they're not explicitly called out in that pins Arduino H file. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.